Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm coming to y'all today to tell y'all that I went to my, well, went to the hospital setting for the first time today, and it was pretty good. I walked around, and we kind of got a feel of the place, but we didn't you know deep and delve too much into the actual nursing part of the clinicals. We were, uh, we were, we went there to get our ID badges, you know, our, our picture taken, then get our ID badges, get uh, fingerprint and fill out other paperwork so background checks could be run on us, you know, and they was told us that the FBI were going to be doing things and searches with our information and stuff. Like, dang, like, y'all are really serious about all this stuff or whatever. But, um, all in all, the day went good. I had a test this morning, and I went in to take the test, and I thought I was going to be doing pretty good because I studied a little bit this week. I studied and tried to brush up on the information. But... I got in there and saw the actual test in front of me, and I, my heart just started beating. My nose started pouring down. Just when I, when I, whenever I get nervous, I either have to pee a lot, or my nose starts to run a lot. So my nose started running all down my face, and I'm sitting there. I don't have any tissue in the clinics with me, so I'm trying to rub all the snot out the way, and then it's just sticking and gooping to my hand, and then just pouring out more. And my pencil is getting so snotty, with, you know, and so wet with snot. That I can barely hold in my hand and, and I'm touching my test paper with snotty hands and I'm trying to wipe my hands somewhere to and relieve the pressure. And it was it was horrible. It was it was horrible, but I ended up doing better on the test than what I thought. You know, toward the end of the test, I stopped getting nervous and I started to calm down some. And um my nose stopped, you know, it immediately stopped running like it did. And and um I don't know. The day went pretty good besides the whole nose running like a water faucet thing. The day went good. Um, I went in professional attire today with my lab jacket on to the hospital setting. When I go again on Thursday, I'm going to an old folks retire. Well, I said old folks. I'm going to a retirement home. Not an old folks retirement home. A retirement village. Um, not a village, but a, a nursing home is what I'm going to. And I got to be there for 7 o'clock in the morning on on Thursday or whatever, but today I went to school for that nine to twelve o'clock, and then I ended up going to the the hospital from one o'clock, and it was supposed to be really quick. We were going to be there to take the ID pictures, but everybody had some kind of discrepancy with their information that they had to turn in, so I ended up standing there till five o'clock. But um, not till five o'clock, but um, I ended up standing there till almost four o'clock. I said five o'clock. But anyway, um, let me show y'all what I wore today. You pretty much already see it now. I have a tie on, which I never really wear a tie. I got a lab jacket on, a white button-down shirt, some casual slacks, and these um, brown shoes. These brown, I call them pimp shoes or something on. I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about, though, right now. All right. I'm trying to make sure everything's not too bright. This is my tie. I liked it because it almost matched the color of my shoe. Kind of remind me of caramel or something like that. I was looking for a chocolate cover, colored shirt so I could get a chocolate tie to match this chocolate skin. But I couldn't get it though. I was going to go in there looking like a big old Hershey's boy. But anyway, it's probably good that I didn't find it. But anyway, this is what I had on though. Had my big lab jacket on. My tie. My casual slacks. Make sure y'all can see them. My casual slacks. And my pimp shoes. If I can get them on there. Whoop. Having a little trouble. Having a little trouble. Okay. My pimp shoes. Caramel. I'm thinking. I don't know what color it is actually. And... Trying to get a top view of me here. This is the best I think I can do right here. But anyway, this is me today. We're looking extra educated. Looking like a doctor, really, instead of a nursing student. Not thinking. A lot of people jokingly told me, told me I look nice, but they said I look like an ER doctor or something like that. Or a doctor off of the ER show. See? My badge. Or a Munster. SN, if y'all can see that. Monsanto. Everybody think. Alright. I think y'all got a good 
look at my clothes. If y'all didn't, I tried my best to give y'all a good look. Let me set my light and everything up. All right, another another quick story before I wrap this video up. I went to Hollywood Video yesterday and I rented White Noise 2 and I rented Skinwalkers and I rented um let me see White Noise 2 Skinwalkers and this this other movie, yeah, Invasion, Invasion, the one with Nicole Kidman in it. But anyway, I went to Hollywood Video, and as y'all know, as some people know, when you go to Hollywood Video, you have to give your, you don't have a movie card, you have your name that you give to um, the person behind, you, you, the person behind the wrist or whatever, the person who's ringing you out, you give your name and your phone number, what well, you give your phone number to them, and they'll pull your account up. So I gave the boy my phone number who was checking my movies out. So he said, what's your number? I told him, you know, 635, whatever, whatever, whatever. He said, what? I said, 635, whatever, whatever, you know. And he's like, give me the number again. I said, 635, whatever, whatever, you know. I was giving, I'm saying whatever to y'all because I don't want everybody to have my phone number. I know some people don't care, but I don't want to be getting strange phone calls. But that's not even the point. But I was saying whatever, whatever. You know, I gave him my number. He was like, okay, some." Some, something's wrong. I'm like, what's happening? So he said, give me your number again. I gave my number again. He's like, okay, you know, hitting on the keyboard. Something's still wrong. I said, what's going on? Is my account no longer open? What's happening? He says, a account is coming up, um, but it says Roberto Rodriguez Monsanto. And I said, that's me. That's, that's who I am. That's me. And he says, oh, oh. You know, he was expecting to see, I guess, this um, Latino man in there checking out these videos. But he saw my black tail up in there trying to rent these videos and stuff. And he really didn't want to give them movies. He thought that I had really, I guess, stole somebody's phone number and trying to rent off somebody else's account. I get so sick of that two people see you and they see that you're dark or something. I've made, I don't know how many videos about this. And they expect you to just be... One thing, you can't be dark skinned and be something else. And that's why I told him my name is Roberto Rodriguez Monsanto. Black person, as you can see, but mixed with other things. And I don't care what assholes out there on YouTube say that I'm trying to claim to be something that I'm not. I'm not claiming to be anything that I'm not. I am everything. I am. Everything that it took to make the person who y'all look at and enjoy watching their videos. So, for people, I hate to even bring my name and race up because I have people always flooding me all the time. You're trying to be this. You're trying to be that. You're trying to be this. You're trying to do that. You're trying to act like you're better than somebody else. No, I'm not. But anyway, I just got totally off a of point, though. But I just thought I had to tell y'all that crazy story. So, if y'all hear somebody's name, don't necessarily... If you see somebody named Aquanetta Jenkins, don't necessarily think she's a black girl. There could be a white woman named Aquanetta. Even though I, that hadn't happened to me yet. Even though I haven't found a white woman named Aquanetta, I'm sure some are out there. But anyway, y'all, I'm getting totally off a of subject. This is going to be it for today. Uh, y'all might not see me again until I post my video for the seven people. So until then, hope y'all have a good week. I need to get back to doing my studying. And I can't wait to spring break next week so I can rest some. I got to go. Yeah, I got to go to a retirement home on Thursday. Yeah, but anyway, that's it. So um, thanks to all my new subscribers. I have 416 so far. Thanks to all my new ones. I like to send y'all a lot of personal messages. You know, t saying thank you to everybody. But I've been so busy lately, I haven't been able to. So everybody who just subscribed to me, thank you so much. And um, be on the lookout for more videos from me. And I tried to rush through this real fast. So if I seem kind of hyper, I am. I'm ready to lay down. I've been up all day. But anyway, thank y'all again for watching. And um, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.